Hey guys, it's Cam from the Plug Support Team, and today I'm just going to be walking you through a basic tutorial of Plug DIO. So when you open the bot, you'll be brought to the task page initially, once you get signed in. And so this is the task page um, at the top, just so we have the time, um, and to the right is the settings icon, and then start all, um, delete all tasks, and the capture button at the bottom. Um, on the next page is the add a task. Um, button and this will become really useful to you um, later on. I'll show you how to use it And then next we have the drop list tab and we will post the um, What's dropping? Uh, the new drop list every single week So you guys know exactly what's dropping and we'll provide you with keywords and colors and everything like that right within the app um, And then the next tab is profiles. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a um, test profile but basically what this does is it saves all your information so we can easily give it to the task page so I'm gonna go ahead and create a task real quick or a profile okay now that I have my profile set up I just need to hit save in the top right corner and that will save this test profile and I have another one here um, and basically now we want to head over to create our first task so um, we're actually going to go to the drop list tab and we're going to see uh, Supreme Fall 1 through 19 week 5 keywords and so that's the latest drop at the time of recording this. So we're going to click on that and say I want to go for the Supreme Lacoste logo panel hooded sweatshirt. Um, as you can see we have the keyword, color, uh, the category, and the price. So to set up your task um, what you want to do is first read the guide that we post um, in the support discord every single week and that will basically run you through um, what you need to know to set up your task correctly and to have the most success on the drop. Um, and this week's guide said that we need to use the Supreme Mobile 2 which is what it'll usually be um, but it's always good to give the guide um, a quick overview before you start setting up your task. Next is the keyword so we can see it's cost. So we'll go over and we're going to copy and paste that directly into the keywords box. And you'll notice that there are no spaces um, in this keyword box. There's just the word, just the keyword. And that's really important. Otherwise, your task won't ever detect a product. So um, you need to make sure that there's no extra spaces. Um, next is the category. And you can see that this category is sweatshirts. And say I want to go for this in um, black, so we'll just copy and paste that. The next option is random color. Um, if you want the bot to go for um, any random color, then just turn that on. Uh, otherwise, just completely just leave it off. Um, it will go for a random product. Um, not sure about first available. Um, the next option is size. Say I want to go for a size small. Select that. Um, same thing with random size. I'm going to select my billing profile, um, which is test in this case. For Supreme, you don't need to worry about proxies. Do not worry about proxies. It will slow you down. Unless the guy specifically says to use proxies, then don't worry about proxies. Um, and then the next option is delay. And so delay is kind of a tricky thing because. Um, what you'll want to end up doing eventually is, depending on your setup, um, you'll want to have more or less tasks with um, staggered delays. So what I mean by that is creating, um, and I'll explain this better later, but you'll create uh, multiple tasks and then you'll stagger the delays between, um, well right now we're um, recommending 2500 uh, ms and uh, 3500 ms so um, yeah I'll go over that later but for this task we're just going to go 3500 delay and then you'll always want to leave the schedule blank unless we say to use it in the guide and the last option is the captcha bypass this option only works for US users but if you want to throw it on a few tasks in the US feel free because it'll help you check out a lot faster um, and then the final option is creating multiple tasks at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and create um, three tasks. 
uh, just for this example. And then once you have all this information filled in, the top right you just hit create task. And then we'll head over to the task page. So this is what it'll look like when you have all your tasks set up. Now, um, what I mentioned before about staggering delays. Um, so we set up 3,500 delay as our like initial um, initial delay when we created our tasks. So say I have three tasks that are all in the same profile and I want to go for the exact same item. Um, what I'll actually want to do is stagger delays to avoid cancels. So what we're going to do is slide to the left on the task and then hit edit and then we'll come down here to change this to we'll go 2000 um, 700 oops 2700 and we'll just hit save and then next we'll come back here and we'll get the next one and we'll probably change this to maybe um, one step up so it'll be 3000 and then you know the next one is 3500 so what that does basically is if the first task checks out quick then that one will usually stick and then if the second one um, checks out before the third one then that one sticks and then if the last one checks out then obviously that one will stick so that's basically the mindset behind that so the other thing that you want to be careful of is that you're signed into google so at the top right here we see there's a little um, gear icon so you want to click that and go down to this Google login and you want to make sure that you're signed into Google here because if you don't have CAPTCHA bypass on um, you're gonna have to solve a CAPTCHA um, and so make sure you're signed into this page and then we're gonna go back to the main task page and so when you're running your task um, you're gonna have to solve CAPTCHAs and so basically what will happen is as you're running your task once it gets to um, the little checkout circle um, if you don't have the capture bypass on typically the well this will always pop up um, and it'll say task waiting for capture one and so if you don't have any ca um, tasks waiting for capture then this animation will play but if you do then a capture will pop up on the screen the bot will click it automatically and if you need to solve it then solve it quickly and hit submit and if you're fast enough then you'll be able to get the product now we recommend you have one clicks so a good way to do that is to go on your computer and watch youtube videos on your gmail before the drop and that way you can ensure that you'll have one clicks for the drop all right that is a um, basic overview for supreme now i'm going to head over um, to the add a task page to set up tasks for um, say a easy supply drop now that I've deleted all my tasks, we're ready to set up for a Shopify uh, drop. So what you want to do is go to the add task page and say we're going to set up for the cloud white drop. Um, basically, as of now, we're just sticking to what's called browser mode. And I'll show you what that means. So basically, you want to leave, um, we'll leave keywords blank and we'll go we just need to select a billing profile, so we'll do that, and then we'll type in 3,500 delay. And that's pretty much it for um, a browser mode task. So then we'll hit save, come over here, and to run the browser mode, um, what you want to do is hit or hold down the play button next to the task. This will come up, hit yes, and it'll bring you onto the Easy Supply website. From there, um, you can go ahead and add the size you want to cart, hit purchase, check out, and then obviously you can see here that um, plugged is doing this all on its own. It filled in the information, it hit continue, now it brings you to this page. It looks like it filled in cart info, but we have had, um, we've had some reports of it not filling in, so be ready to paste it. Um, if necessary and then it'll just hit complete order for you and you don't have to touch it um, just make sure that it gets in queue quickly so it can get through queue quickly um, and that's
basically um, Shopify browser. So the last question we get a lot is, would you use LTE or Wi-Fi? And the simple answer to that is that you want to use whichever one is faster. So that concludes this beginner's tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to open a support ticket and I'll be glad to help you there.